Well, glory to God. Look at your neighbor and tell him, welcome to Cowboy Church. Hallelujah to God. I don't know what you're saying, brother, but look at your neighbor and tell him, welcome to Cowboy Church. Is that what you were saying? I'm about to hang myself on that cord. Come on, stand up, help me sing. We're going to sing one you probably know. I wandered so aimless, like filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Well, I saw. sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, what's like a blind man, I wandered alone. Worries and fears I'd blame for my own. Then like a blind man, that God gave back his sign. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Sing it like you mean it now. Well, I, I saw, saw the light, light, I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. And I was a fool to wander astray. Straight is the gate and narrows the way. Now I have traded the wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow in sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Yes, I, I saw, saw the light, I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow in sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, well, yes. While you're standing, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up to you this service tonight. We need the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Father. We haven't come to entertain or to be entertained. We've come to minister and to be ministered to. So, Lord, let the Spirit of the living God flow in this place tonight. Touch each heart and each life. Touch our, our special singer tonight, God, minister, his wife, God. Give him a safe trip when they leave here tomorrow. Thank you for bringing him to us this night. Thank you for what you're going to do here this night. Thank you for the altar call time. Lord, we want to see somebody saved. We just want to see Jesus glorified in all we do. So it's in his name we pray. Amen and amen. Y'all can be seated. Thank you, folks. Hallelujah. Well, some of you folks old as I am remember the lame name Lefty Fursell. And Alan calls himself the little brother, the younger brother. 24 years younger, in fact. And so he's, uh, he's with us tonight, him and his wonderful wife, Gail. They're a blessing from the Lord. Come to be a blessing to you and me tonight. And we spent the last few hours together getting to know each other a little bit and enjoying the fellowship and enjoying Duffy's. Mm. And we, we set up the sound equipment and we enjoyed Duffy's. And we fellowshiped some and we enjoyed Duffy's. Somebody got to suffer for Jesus. You know how it is. So we went down to Duffy's and had some shrimp baskets and Cajun fries. And, oh, it was good. It was good. Of course, I said Duffy's, didn't I? So if I said Duffy's, you know it was good. Anyway, it's good to have Brother Allen and his wife, Gail Purcell, with us tonight. Come on, brother. We're not going to take any more time to introduce you. He will be taking a little short break in the middle of the service here, and, and uh, I'll be talking about offering and his product table and everything back there. But uh, come on, brother, and just bless us. Amen. Y'all welcome him again. Give him a good Cornerstone Cowboy Church welcome. All right. Now, where did we go to? Was it Duffy's? 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm glad that, that you took us over there, and I'm glad that that was one of your favorite spots because it's one of mine now, I tell you. It was great. We had a good time. We uh, had some great fellowship and some great food. It was just wonderful. And, uh, and, uh, but you got the nicest people around here and, and a beautiful church. We're happy to be here. And uh, uh, I just want to mention before we start that everything I do, it's not about me. It's about my Lord and Savior. And I'm so blessed that I get to travel around and, and meet beautiful people like you all over. And then sometimes we get lucky and we get to come back again. And then after a couple of times or so, we get to be good friends. Well, we got good friends all over this world. Boy, when we need some prayer, and boy, I believe in prayer, it can be real powerful when you got a big family praying for you, I tell you. Well, let me get my guitar here. Well, I'll tell you what, now, you guys are looking good out there. Some of you looking better than others. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what. Hey, I got to tell you something before I start out that I, I, I kind of find it's a little funny. I don't know. We, we, uh, we have my wife and I, we have two children. We have a daughter that just got married last uh, year. And uh, then we have a son. He's 25 years old. He's the youngest. And he just started his career in country music. But he don't do that new stuff. Uh, we must have raised him right. He likes the old stuff. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, well, we had a friend. Uh, just this wasn't too long ago. Uh, he was doing a concert in in town in Nashville, and he doesn't do that very often. And so we were going to go see him. And we had a friend that we had, I bet you we hadn't seen her maybe in 15, 20 years. And so she came and she rode with us, and we went to go see him. And and you know, as soon as we seen her, she gave my wife and gave me a hug, you know, and everything. And then she started talking. She started in. She she started with her neck. She started talking about her neck. Then it went down to her back. Then it went down to her lower back. Then it was her knee. And she said, I had to have this one replaced. Well, I got to have the other one replaced. And I mean, she must have talked for 20 minutes. And by the time she got through, boy, did I feel good. I mean, I didn't know I was in such good shape. I, mean, <laughs> I thought, gosh, poor, poor lady. I didn't realize it. Well, and you know what? My wife says, you know what? You do that sometimes. No, I don't. She says sometimes. I, I said, no, I don't. I don't start talking about my ailments and all that. She said, well, sometimes. Well, I, you know, so I try to just keep my mind on the Lord. You know what I mean? You can't get in trouble that way. But I thought to myself, golly, that was it. It was kind of funny because she just kept on and kept on. And I thought, man, boy, I'm in good shape. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm going to ask you if, you, if you're able to, and, and you don't mind, I'm going to ask you if you would stand up on this first song, and I'll tell you, sometimes it's easier to praise the Lord when you're standing or you're on your knees, you know what I mean? Here's a song that we put out uh, last year, and it did real good for us, and, uh, and it talks about being in God's house, and uh, well, you know, actually, I'm going to let it speak for itself, all right? It goes like this. Now, you guys have a good time. Clap. Stomp, whatever you think you can get away with, uh, with you know, with Pastor back there. <laughs> oh, this ain't no house of the blues. It's a house of good news. It ain't no place to break down. It's a place to break through. This ain't no place for doubt. It's a place to sing and shout. So get out of your pew and see what God can do. This ain't no house of the blues. Lay your burden down. Drink the music back. Forget about your hurt. Let's have some church. Because when the praise goes up, the glory will come down. Get about your fears, dry your tears, God's gonna turn it around. This ain't no house of the blues, it's a house of good news. It ain't no place to break down, it's a place to break through. This ain't no place for doubt. 
place to sing and shout. So get out of your pew, see what God can do. This ain't no house of the blues. Here we go. got a broken heart well you're at the right place to find mercy and grace there's a miracle man and just one touch of his hand can take away your pain so in jesus name just make your claim this ain't no house of the blue it's a house of good news. It ain't no place to break down. It's a place to break through. This ain't no place for death. It's a place to sing and shout. So get out of your feet. See what God can do. This ain't no house of the blues. Take it out of your feet. See what God can do. This ain't no house of the blues, Lord, Lord. Uh, Woo! Amen, amen. Get comfortable. Oh man. Oh, that got me going there, I tell you. Hey, I got to ask you something now. Has anybody here ever had a bad day before? Anybody ever have a bad day? <laughs> a bad day? Have you ever had a bad week? Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, a lot of the same thing. A bad month? Anybody? Can I get a year? Anybody ever have a bad? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Sometimes, now, sometimes I may wake up in the morning and I may be getting a bad start. You know what I mean? I, I got off on the wrong side of the bed. I don't know what you call it, but and but God, I'm talking to the men right now. Don't blame it on your wife. If you do that, then it only gets real bad. Trust me on that. Then it gets real bad. But, you know, sometimes it's not even our fault. It's old Satan's fault. He'll get on our back, and he's hard to throw, I tell you. So we're going to do a song right here, and we're going to give him a black eye. What do you say? Well, Satan's got to get along without me I've been saved from sin forevermore Well, Satan's got to get along without me I'm going to heaven with my Lord well, since I turned Satan down and the wolf, for sure that I'm heaven bound, there's nothing he can do to stop me. Since I've seen heaven's light, I know for sure that I'm headed wrong. Satan's got to get along without me. Well, Satan's got to get along without me. I've been saved from sin forevermore. Well, Satan's got to get along without me. I'm going to heaven with my Lord. Yes, I am. Satan might have had a chance when he had me in his grasp. That was a long time. Since God broke the chains of sin, I know for sure that he can't win. Satan's got to get along without me. But Satan's got to get along without me. I've 
I've been safe from sin forevermore. Well, Satan's got to get along without me. I'm going to heaven with my Lord. Well, Satan's got to get along without me. I've been saved from sin forevermore. Well, Satan's got to get along without me. I'm going to heaven with my Lord. Well, I'm going to heaven with my Lord. I tell you what, um, I have a song here that we, uh, this song here was written just for the cowboy church. Now, I heard there wasn't a whole lot of cowboys here, but, uh, you know, you don't, it, you don't have to be a cowboy. I mean, if you travel, and, and, and the lady back here in the back I was talking with earlier, she used to drive a truck she was telling me about. And uh, if you, if you, you know, ever traveled, you were away from home, you know, for a long time and everything, I think you'll be able to relate to this. But, um, but it was written just for you guys. You just didn't know it, see? <laughs> it's called Still Waters. I hope you like it. Woke up this morning and the sun refused to shine. Had to seek shelter from the rain. Lightning started flashing. Thunder started crashing. Lord, I whispered out your name. And I found cover beneath the ridge beside the stream. Jumped off my saddle and I got down on my knees. And I prayed. Watch over my family while I'm so far away. Thank you for the blessings that you give me every day. And for this horse who carries more than his own load. Been a friend to me so often, all the time I spend alone. Lord, need Still water. Lord, you know there's times we didn't see eye to eye, but you forgave me and you loved me as I am. With the brush you paint the mountains that I see. With the master's touch, you guide me with your hand. Every night, you know I get down on my knees. I thank God I'm alive, and I've got all my need, and I pray. Watch over my family while I'm so far away. Thank you for the blessings that you give me every day. And for this horse who carries more than his own load. He's been a friend to me so often, all the time I spend alone. Lead me, Lord, lead me beside still water. over my family while I'm so far away. Thank you for the blessings that you give me every day. For this horse who carries more than his own load. Been a friend to me so often, all the time I spend alone. Need me. Lord, need 
beside still waters. These thoughts still water me. Amen. Amen. Well, I have a song here that I want to do about my dad. Now, we wrote this song about my dad, and, and the song, it, of course, it, it did real good for us, and it was even up for Song of the Year in Nashville, Tennessee, and, and those were good things, you know, but Mainly, the most important thing is it's my dad's story. Now, when I was real young, my dad, he taught me a lot of things, I tell you. Uh, but, you know, I, I was kind of confused because when I was real young, I didn't think he was that smart. But the older I got, the smarter he got. Now, how does that work? I mean, I <laughs> but anyways, now, when I was about 11 or 12 years old, my dad said, he says, boy, let me tell you something. Always be a man of your word. He said, if you're not a man of your word, you ain't worth nothing. Boy, and he wouldn't let me forget that either, I tell you. So we wrote this song. It's called A Man of His Word. And, and what it really means is if you'll be a man of his word, God's word, most likely you'll be a man of your word. Hope you like it. My dad was from a different place in time than we lived today. He believed everyone should be up before the break of day. That a man should earn his living by the sweat of his brow. And the marriage was a lifetime vow. Round town he never had a sign on no dotted line. How the handshake from him would do just fine. It's hard to find that kind of man in the day's world. He was a man of his word. He'd say, you've got to give a man a full day's word for his pay. Don't stop and listen to what everybody's got to say. But take the time to help your fellow man And know what you believe in Take a stand Always live your life for the good Lord And be a man of His Word Yes, sir! My dad for teaching me all the things he did. Taking me to church on Sunday when I was a kid. Where I found Jesus between the fire and the brimstone I heard. Made me a man of his word. You've got to give a man a full day's word for his pay. Don't stop and listen to what everybody's got to say. But take the time to help your fellow man and know what you believe in. Take a stand. Always live your life for the good Lord. And be a man of His Word. Always live your life for the good Lord and be a man of his word. Yes, sir. Amen. Oh, wow. I tell you what, he taught me a bunch of good things, I tell you. Um, on this song here, it, this next song is one that, that I wrote about my life. So it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, my, uh, 
boy, if I went, uh, yeah, yeah, what is it, Gail, though? That's it, thank you. I went just blank for a minute. I, uh, uh, I guess a little bit of some timers kicked in for a moment. I don't know. What, <laughs> what, what is that that does that? I mean, you know, oh, me. Uh, but, yeah, it is. And, and, but you know what? Of all the songs I've written, um, I'd have to say that the Lord has used this song more to uh, bless people and, and actually even to bring them to the Lord. Uh, and, and I don't have anything to do with that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm blessed to be a small part of it, I guess uh, you could say. But uh, I'm going to tell you one thing that happened with this song. Back a few years ago, we were in Shreveport, Louisiana, at a big cowboy church there. And uh, when I was setting up, this young fella came in, and he wanted to talk to me. He was about 21 years old, and uh, he started telling me uh, kind of his testimony. And, and he said that, uh, that for several, two or three years or so, things have been going really bad in his life. I mean, everything you could think of was, was bad, you know, just terrible things that happened. And, and he, uh, he, he ended up drinking and all kinds of things and to, to make it worse, you know. And, and he said, finally, to make a long story short, he said, finally, he said, I had just decided that I was going to take my own life. And he said, I was sitting in my mom's pickup truck. And uh, he, he said, now, she only listened to country gospel. She didn't listen to any other kind of music. She didn't listen to country music. And he says, I was sitting in there, and I had a 357 in my hand. And I was just trying to get up enough courage to take my own life. And he said, and I, you know, I, I was just sitting there. And he, said, and he said, and I seen this CD sitting on her dash, and it just sort of threw me, threw me off a little bit. He said, because it, I recognized the name, but I recognized it as being a country name, you know, as a, a country music. And he said, and, and I just couldn't understand why she had it in her, in her truck. He said, I, I kept on still trying to get the courage to do what I was going to do. Finally, he said, I just couldn't take it. He said, so I took it, and I put it on. And the song that played, the first song that played is the one that I'm talking about. And when he heard it, he said, I listened to it. And he said, and then I backed it up, and I listened to it again. And then I listened to it. He said, I must have listened to that song maybe a dozen times. He said, finally, man, the convicting power of the Holy Ghost got a hold of me. He said, I asked the Lord into my heart and asked him to save me. He said, and I, he said, I was crying. I was a mess. And he said, and I, and then I, I, I seen myself in the mirror and he, he said, I looked and he said, man, he said, I, I could see I've been crying. He said, I, I was a mess. And he said, and then I looked back again and I seen my whole face. He said, and I had the biggest smile I had seen on my face in years. And that kind of gets me because that same type of thing happened to me one time. And he said, and man, there was joy. I had joy that I hadn't had in, in many years. And, and he said, and it just changed my life completely. And when I heard that you were coming here and, and that you were the writer of that song and, and that was the song I heard, he said, I couldn't wait to, to meet you. I wanted to tell you about it and everything. He said, man, you, he said, you, you had a whole lot to do. With it. I said, no, now, once again, no, I didn't have anything to do with it. But when the Lord, when he gets a hold of, when he touches something like that, a song like this, miracles happen. And that's what, you know, it's a miracle when someone uh, gives his heart to the Lord like that. That's a miracle, and, that's, and he changes them into a new creature. And I tell you what, that is a bona fide miracle right there. And uh, it, it's, just, it's, it's just great. But I'm going to do the song for you. I hope you like it. it it's just a simple song, really. Uh, but like I said, the Lord gets a hold of things, things change. But I hope you like it. Saw the light in a country church when I was 17. I opened my heart like never before as he held out his arms to me. I confessed I wasn't living my life the way I should have been. I couldn't change it. On my own, that's when I turned to him. Now I live. 
living for Jesus because he died for me. Everlasting life is what he guarantees. All I have to do is truly believe. Living for Jesus because he died for me. Through him my prayers have been answered. He takes them all straight to God. There on my knees he listens and forgives me no matter what. That's how I get through these days that I am living in. Until the day he calls me home, I'm going to live for him. Now I'm living for Jesus because he died for me. Everlasting life. What he gave me. All I have to do is truly believe. Living to Jesus because he died for me. Living for Jesus because. And he died for you. Uh, you know, when you get get your lives, when you, you give your life to the Lord and then you you get in church, you get in Sunday school, or you get in God's Word. You start learning about Him. That, that's just wonderful. That's something that's, that's great, something you need to do. But it's also good when you also learn who you are in Christ. You need to know who you are in Christ. And, you know, uh, it, it, for one thing, you, you learn just how powerful prayer can be in Jesus' name. And we're joint heirs with, with, with the Lord. And I tell you what, it, it's just a good thing. And uh, uh, but uh, this song that I'm going to do for you, it's important to me. It it uh, it talks about those things. And it, and it uh, if you're in if you're really in God's word, I think this uh, song will really bless you. I hope it does. I know who I am and will always be now and forever for in Christ I am free made peace with my God Through the blood of Calvary, reconciled completely. That's what the cross did for me. I'm a child of a promise that will forever stand. 
by faith in my Savior, I am a righteous man. I'm an heir to a kingdom not built by human hands. I'm a son, not a slave, thanks to the son that he gave. I know who I am. And I know who I am. And all my father sees the blessed prayers of my Savior. One more perfect son in me. Separated and holy, sanctified and redeemed. Once a child of the darkness, now I'm a child of the King. Forever forgiven. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Once a sinner, now a saint. Yes, I know who I am. I am the crown and glory of the great I am. Praise God. Thank you so much. Amen. Well, we're going to take, I guess, about right now would be a good time. We're going to do a love offering. And while the pastor comes up here, I just want to say one thing real quick. I, I do appreciate any and everything anybody's able, able to give to, to the ministry. It's God's ministry. And, and, you know, when you give, you plant a seed in our ministry, and you're part of everything that we do. And, and we're full-time. This is all we do is just travel around and and try to sing and tell everybody we can about Jesus Christ. And uh, I tell you, it's uh, such a blessing to do that. But we do appreciate anything you can. If you're unable to give, just pray for us. But, brother, I'll let you take over at the very end. Take a break, brother. Get your swallow of water. Rest your vocal cords. <laughs> he says, I'll take a drink here. <laughs> Amen, I understand. Well, are y'all being blessed? Hallelujah to God. Amen. Y'all know how we do the offering here? We have a box at the, on the offering table there. Uh, stop by there on your way out. And uh, anything that comes in there tonight will be going to their ministry. Uh, they have some CDs out front. Stop by. See what you see that you like. Talk to somebody about getting some. As I always say at a time like this, Walmart doesn't need your money. Christmas is right around the corner. How many of y'all know Christmas will be here before you know it? Uh, Christmas presents, birthday presents, anniversary presents, whatever. What better to get somebody than some Christian go some, some gospel, some country gospel, some cowboy gospel music, some good Christian music that they can listen to and, and uh, it'll outlive the candy. Amen? Well, I'm not sure about that, but uh, candy hangs around a long time. But uh, they get more blessing out of the music than they will the candy. Amen. So stop by there on your way out and be a blessing. Look at somebody again and tell them welcome to Cowboy Church tonight. All right, brother. Your break's up. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. I'll tell you what. Uh, I, uh, As you probably know by now, I, I mainly do my songs that I've written and it kind of helps to minister when you're writing songs, uh, you know, when you're doing songs that you've written or the, the Lord has gave to you, uh, I tell you. But uh, I do like the old ones. And, uh, I, man, I tell you what, the old hymns, they're hard to beat, I tell you. I'm going to do one here. If you guys know it, sing along with me. And 
You already know that uh, what you get with me is pretty country, I tell you. <laughs> I can't open my mouth and it's country, I guarantee you. But uh, this one's fun to do and it's fun to pick on, so I'm going to do it for you. It goes like this. They tell me of a land far beyond the sky. They tell me of a land far away. They tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, the land of the cloudless day. Oh, the land of the non-cloudy sky. Oh, they tell me of a home where no stone clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Yes. They tell me of a king in his beauty there. They tell me that my eyes shall behold. Where he sits on the throne that is whiter than snow. That city that is made of gold. Oh, the land of the cloudless day. Oh, the land of the cloudy sky. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Here, this is a new one here now, but this one here, you know, I, I know your pastor, I know he's talked with him that he was called to do what he's doing and everything, and I, and I feel that I was called to be doing what I'm doing, And but you know what? If you're a Christian and you've been born again, you should all be about your father's business. You know it? And the Lord, he woke me up in, in the middle of the night and he gave me this song and and I got to tell you, for him to give me this song like he did, and he just played the thing to me, you know, for him to do that, I would have had to be in his will, I believe. And, uh, and you know what? There's not a better place to be than in God's will. I'll tell you that right now. But I hope you like it. It goes like this. Didn't come to entertain Pray I'm not in vain But I'm here About my father's business Can't you hear his call To surrender all I'm here About my father's business time to turn from sin and trust in him i'm here about my father's business stop listening to satan's lie open your eyes because i'm here about my father's business 
God gave his only son, he could have stayed upon his throne, but he died for you and me on a hill at Calvary. What a debt Jesus paid for all the sins this world made. Father's business. Are you ready to receive? You just gotta believe I'm here about my father's business he'll turn your life around you'll be heaven bound i'm here about my father's business he was here about his father's business I'm going to ask you, if you would, if you'd bow your head just a moment and just think about all the things that the Lord has done for you. Just pray with me, because only you can. family. I don't, I don't do enough. I don't witness enough to folks. I, I don't do enough for my church. I don't do enough for our pastor. I don't do enough for the Lord. Is anybody out there could raise your hand out there and say, I could do more for the Lord. I could do more for my family and the church. Now, I know there's more out there that you're not all perfect. I know there's some out there that could raise your hands and say, I could do more. I'll be, the, I'll be one that will raise my hand because I fail every day. You know, Jesus Christ, he came down to this world and he, he died on an old rugged tree on the old rugged cross. A terrible death. And he died for you and he died for me. And he offers everyone a gift of salvation. If there's anyone in here that could say, you know, if I was to die today, I don't know where I'd go. I don't know where I'd spend eternity. Is there anyone in here who could say, you know, I don't have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. If you don't have that relationship with him, could you raise your hand just so that we can pray for you? It won't bother you, just want to pray for you. Is there anyone? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. You know, the best decision anybody could ever make is to 
decide to follow him. You know, I did many years ago, and I got to tell you something. It's the best decision I ever made. You know, for those that raised your hand, uh, just pray after me if you would. I'm going to ask if the music could be turned down just a hair again. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you if you would come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you've been resurrected and you're sitting on the right side of God. And I give you my heart and ask you to save me. I believe if, if you sincerely prayed that prayer that you've been born again and you should tell somebody, tell somebody that you've been born again. The Lord will, I'll tell you, he will do miracles through you. He'll change your life. And, you know, I, I got to tell you, I, I don't know how anybody can live today in this world without him. For those of you that, that raised your hand earlier, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you would touch them that ask to be closer to you and do more for their families and their church and their preacher, Lord. Please touch them as only you can. Help them to be all they can be for you, Lord. I believe if they can be all they can be for you, they'll be all they need to be for anyone else. Please touch them as only you can. And we ask this in Jesus Christ's name. And the church said, amen. All right. Well, I tell you what, you guys are, it's just great being with you. We've had a good time all, ever since we got here, we've had a great time. And, and I'm never going to forget the eating spot, I guarantee you that. <laughs> uh, hey, I have learned, and I hope this is okay, but I have learned that if I don't do this, I tend to get in trouble. How many out there remember my older brother, the late Lefty Frizzell? Any member? I mean, man, quite a few of you gave your age away. I just, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you know, he, he was known as one of the most influential country singers of all time. He influenced so many other uh, legends, as a matter of fact, you know, and although we're about to lose them all, there's only a couple left. We got Loretta Lynn, what a sweet lady. I worked with her for about a year, and she's a sweet lady. And, and then we got uh, Willie, you know, and, and he's, I think he may outlive them all, you know. Or, you know, although he may be gone and just don't know it. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. He's a good guy. He's, he, he did a tribute to my brother, brother one time uh, from, uh, from Willie to Lefty, but uh, uh, but I tell you what, if it's okay, I'm going to do just a little touch of one of Lefty's songs, and uh, and, and this one here was one that that he wrote, and uh, one of the last songs he wrote, and it's been recorded a bunch of times by a lot of different artists, and uh, even uh, Merle what's his name recorded this, and and he he won his first and only Grammy with this song right here, and I've sang it as much as he has, and I ain't won a cracker. <laughs> Let me know if you remember it, okay? I've been throwing horseshoes over my left shoulder. I've spent most all my life searching for that four-leaf clover. Yeah, you ran with me. Chasing my rainbow Honey, I love you too That's the way love goes That's the way love goes back That's the music God made For all never old it grows losing makes me sorry you say huh now don't you worry honey I love you too that's the way love goes 
Honey, I love you too. That's the way love goes. Oh, me. What a great song. You know, and then I have another brother. I'm known as the other brother, but I have another brother. David Frizzell, and, and out of nine, I'm, I'm the baby, and David's next up from me. He's 10 years older, and, and he's had a lot of uh, success and had some hit songs. He had one song that was a uh, number one song in Song of the Year. You probably might remember it called You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma. You might remember that. And then he had another one that was Song of the Year called I'm Going to Hire a Wino to Decorate Our Home. And I'm not going to do that, preacher. Don't worry. I'm not doing that. We <laughs> We were out, uh, we, were, we were a couple of, this has happened a couple of times. We were somewhere at a cowboy church, and, and one of the last times there was a cowboy church, and the, and the pastor was sitting in the front, and I said that, and he said, oh, go ahead and do it. And I said, no, I'm not going to sing it. He said, well, do you know how to play it? And I said, well, yeah. He said, well, you play it, and I'll sing it. <laughs> I mean, before I could get out of there, well, I, I, I've, I've done packed my guitar up, but then I, find, I took it out again when it was on the front porch. I said, okay, I'll play it. And he, I guess he just thought I'd never heard it before. He wanted to sing it to me real bad. <laughs> but uh, I love my, uh, my family, and I love my brothers. I tell you, that's one of the sad things, being the youngest, being the baby, is to watch everybody go, you know. But, uh, but I'm the baby. My wife will attest to that. Matter of fact, the other day, she said, you know what? You're spoiled rotten. And I said, thank you, darling. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, and, and I want to introduce my wife. I am so blessed to have her as, as my partner. And uh, she, uh, she's from Mississippi, so she's not too far away. She's from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And uh, she is uh, my better half. Stand up, darling. This is Gail. And wave to everybody. Say hi. She's kind of shy. She don't like to be in the... <laughs> but anyways, I, I guess you can see that uh, uh, I robbed the cradle and she robbed the grave. I just... No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she usually turns me off during that. Anyways, uh, but it's been so good to be with you. I, I'm going to ask you if, you if you would and you can one more time if you'd stand up on this last song we want to do for you. Here's a song that we wrote and... It talks about the Lord coming back. And, you know, I believe he is going to come back soon. Uh, you look at this world, it's a big mess. And I'm not talking politics. I'm just talking in general. It's a big mess. But I do believe the Lord's going to come back. And when he does, he's going to come down with all his glory. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. And, I, and I'm telling you, I can tell you guys can do it. Because we're in Louisiana and they get excited. One second, let me put this down. Here's what I want you to do. When I say, somebody help me praise the Lord today, then I want you all to say glory real loud. We're even going to practice it. On three, we're going to say glory. I want to see how good you do. One, two, three. Glory. No, 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 that, boy, that's weak. That's weak. No, we got to do better than that. No, no, well, give it all you got. Like, I mean, for, like you're loving the Lord, okay, praising him. Okay, one more time. We're going to try this. Bitty church and they beat. Oh, come on. Give me one more. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. You got it. That's it. Y'all don't forget. Here we go. <laughs> this band of mine, they, it, it says glory. It says glory. And it just wants to jump in. You know what, brother? I got to tell you. We, we were in Arkansas and man, it was hot. It was 110 or something shade and and was doing a rodeo and this the, the uh, group that was on before me the the guy that was uh, up before me he he passed out and I thought man I ain't got a chance that I can't take this heat and I got up there and I did see a lot of a uh, lot of stuff but anyways I uh but I had a water right here and I, and I knocked it over on my baby man it just they just quit on me yeah they just did they quit on me and, but I believe in prayer. I, now, you, now, you guys are going to say this is crazy. I don't know. You're getting out there. But I tell you what happened. We, we got in the vehicle. We was getting ready to leave. And uh, 
I, I asked my wife, I said, where's the band at? She said, behind the seat. So I got the band, I put it on my lap, and I started praying, something like this. Uh, uh, dear Lord, you know, I, I don't have to have my band, but if you want me to have them, you're going to have to dry them out. And, you know, kind of like my old bands. <laughs> and, and then I said just a few words, and I said amen, and this is the truth. The, it came right back to life. And it worked for several years. I mean, well, it worked about a year, actually. But anyways, it did work for a while. But I do believe in prayer. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to try something else here. Let's try, let's try this glory. Let's see. Don't mess me up now. Here we go. You guys, don't forget to praise him. Here we go. Somebody help me praise the Lord today. We're going to lift up Jesus till the storm cloud roll away. So clap your hands and make a joyful sound. Because the glory of the Lord is coming down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. And the sick are healed. And the lost are found. This Satan has to bleed because he can't hang around. Where the glory of the Lord is coming down. Rejoice and be glad, it's almost time. Heaven's gate will open wide when he splits the eastern sky. In the twinkling of an eye, we'll hear the last trumpet sound when the glory of the Lord is coming down. Where the glory of the Lord is coming down, and the sick are healed, and the lost are found. Where Satan has to flee, cause he can't hang around. Where the glory of the Lord is coming down. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, can I get a loud glory? Glory. Glory. Yes. Okay. I at least understood it. <laughs> God bless you. How you doing, brother? How you doing? God bless you. God bless you. Where the glory of the Lord is coming down, and the sick are healed, and the lost are found. Where Satan has to flee, cause he can't hang around, where the glory of the Lord is coming down. Where the glory of the Lord is coming down, and the sick are healed and the lost are found where satan has to flee cause he can't hang around where the glory of the lord is coming down here we go again somebody help me praise the lord today glory we're gonna lift up jesus till the storm cloud roll away god bless Clap your hands and make a joyful sound Cause the glory of the Lord is coming down This glory of the Lord is coming down Glory! God bless you! Thank you so much. Thank you, brother, for having us. I appreciate it and appreciate the great food. And we do have uh, CDs out, out there. I tried to shake hands with everybody. If I miss you, come, come by and shake hands. Uh, some of you can tell I need a hug. Come by and see me. God bless you. Thank you, brother. Amen. Give the Lord another hand of praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, don't forget, uh, while they're out running around from one church to another being a blessing, the bills are still coming in the house. And uh, so stop by the offering table on your way out. Bless them. Have y'all been blessed tonight? Everybody been blessed? Amen. I believe God wants his people to bless each other. 
Well, they came to bless us. Well, let's bless them in the way that we can. They blessed us in the way they can. Let's bless them in the way we can. Stop by the CD table on your way out. Let's just ask God's blessing on the remainder of this worship. Father, we thank you for what you've done here tonight. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in our lives, in our church life, in our homes, in our families. God, we thank you for what you're going to do here tonight as these folks go home to their, to their own homes. and You're going to take care of them, we know. Bless on the way, God. Pour out of your spirit. God, we have a seniors fellowship tomorrow night. We just want you to pour out of your spirit upon that. Use it for your glory. And our service Sunday, and God, keep the Purcells safe on their, on their road, on their way out of here tomorrow. Use them where they go for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Seniors Fellowship at 5 o'clock right here in the Fellowship Hall in Trail Riders Cafe tomorrow. Uh, bring your favorite dessert, drink, uh, dish, whatever. It's going to be a 